jackdaw's head. We let them out of prison on Christmas and they never came back. That was okay. We didn't like them anyway, but they did leave a mess. Their cells stank to high heaven. And it's true, they did commit crimes wherever they went. We felt bad about that. We forwarded their names to other crime prevention agencies in the hopes that they might catch them and put them away in their prisons, but they never did. Crime spread throughout the region. We felt bad about that. Then the leader of one gang became a priest, and that made all the papers. And the leader of another gang started food drives in several poor neighborhoods. Many others joined the army and fought overseas. It was amazing how they had turned themselves around. The man in charge of the prison took full credit for their transformations, though. In fact, he had nothing to do with it. It was the original gang leader, a man named Jose Torres, who had started the whole change. He said God had showed him the new way. Reporters started looking into it and said he had robbed the church of half its offerings. Jose said no. He had taken the money to build another church for elves deep in the woods. The press went wild with this claim, mocking him viciously. Jose had to quiet down, and soon the matter disappeared from the news. One old lady came up to Jose and said she had been to the new church and it was very nice. Jose thanked her for her report and said he might need her later if the reporters came back. Three of the soldiers were killed in action in Iraq, and Jose said they might become saints. This got him in trouble with the church seniors, and he had to back down. Jose began to feel that there was nothing he could do that was right, so he left the church and went underground. He dealt in odd trinkets that he had picked up from the church, nothing very valuable, a pig's foot, a jackdaw's head, that kind of thing. Still, the cops were after him for unknown reasons. Then he stopped selling, selling trinkets and disappeared altogether. The chancellor of the old prison was afraid he might try to break in there. About 30 years later, a man in South Carolina claimed to have seen Jose digging a hole, but it turned out to have been just an ordinary grave, which the man jumped in as soon as he finished.